18 years ago, as a deer was just rounding the curve out of puberty, um, he did my hair first for maybe a quarter of a page in the back of Jane magazine. <laughs> and we have been together ever since. And obviously, there's no one more important in your, in your life than your hairdresser. So I think I can tell you a little bit about him with some authority. You pronounce his name a deer, as in doe a deer. Um, he likes to wear his pants with the crotch down here, but don't let it fool you, he's not kidding around. He's quite serious about what he does. Every woman in this town thinks that he's their best friend, but surprise, it's me. Um, <laughs> his husband is even more incredible than he is. Marcello. If you have a deer on a shoot with you, he is your secret weapon. I had a director say to me the other day, he is sunshine. He's just sunshine. He walks onto the set and he says, good morning, people. And he has earrings looping around in his crotch and he's got a hairspray. And by the end of the day, the entire crew is in the palm of his hands. A deer it takes his job incredibly seriously. He's always looking at pictures for inspo. Let me tell you something I've never once in my life pointed to a picture of somebody's hair and said, this is my inspo for this night. Um, he is lethal when I tuck my hair behind my ear, which I've done, because there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I know, I'm, supposed to, I'm sorry, it's your night. <laughs> family here, which I am proud to be part of, and uh, I don't think I, that was grammatically correct, but you get the point. And all around, why would I talk another minute when you can meet the person who calls everyone a beautiful human, when you can meet the man behind the most important hairstyles, I don't know, on any red carpet in the last 20 years, and when you can meet my dear beautiful artist friends who my kids adore and say the only reason they would let me be out tonight would be because I was honoring a dear, my buddy a dear. Papa Shell. Wow. Jennifer Garner, um, seriously, this human being is probably one of the most authentic, <laughs> incredible, beautiful people that has made me feel like I've had a family. Um, I love you, I love your kids, I would do anything for you. Thank you. Okay, not gonna cry. Um, Laura and style team, seriously, thank you guys so much. Just stop and look around. This room is filled with love. You guys celebrate people who work every day, and it's not by chance that they're celebrated. They show up every day for their life, they work incredibly hard, they give their hearts, and you guys take the time in a place like the Getty that celebrates incredible artists. I'm humbled, truly humbled to be in this room tonight with all of my brothers and sisters. Like seriously, you guys are <laughs> heroes to me. Really, I mean that. My table is literally made of sunshine. I've had so many of you guys in my life for almost 20 years. Meredith, Nicole, where are you guys? Sam, Beth, Melissa, and my husband. If it wasn't for you, seriously, I would be in a mental institute. For <laughs> sure, for reals, I would be there. So I love you, thank you for always being there for me. I wanna tell you why I love why, what I do in my life. Um, I wake up every day going to work passionate about what I do because as an eight-year-old kid, I was given away to a family in the States and was in a house that was not stable. And by 13 years old, I ran away. I moved to New York with $100 in my pocket. And by 15, I was beating, I got beat up by New York, moved to LA and found hair and found this incredible mentor named Arthur Johns. And Arthur took me in, and our clients every week were people like Tina Turner and Julie Christie and Edie Adams and, and Diane Carroll, and I shampooed Betsy Bloomingdale's and Nancy Reagan's hair on a weekly basis. These were my mothers. These were the women that, 
changed my life. And, and honestly, it's like, it's these incredible women that sit in my chair on a daily basis that change who I am as a person. You guys are my heroes. I love you women, and I love what you do for me. And you guys are powerful, and I feel incredibly grateful, and I hope that we all just get to celebrate each other tonight. And I love you, so thank you.